Welcome back Arbor League and today we are taking a look at my lucky hundo victory bell post community day in the master league. So like and subscribe and turn notifications on if you enjoy this kind of content and for dropping some dust to test this out so you don't have to. So as I said I don't have many legendaries for master league we like the anti-meta here so just trying to cover the fire flying ice steel and psychic weakness in the back with swampert and crunch gary as usual. Victory bell taking this charmer on the lead I know it's a one shield farm down triple X would have taken us out but we're calling a double steel line in the back and the opponent is staying in so we could have come in with Swampert here as Gary is the hard counter resisting the steel and the ground moves but we're okay because they're not swapping out so this next meteor mash will actually kind of hurt so we have to bait here with an aqua tail crunch won't take them out as a super effective but it'll get them pretty low so they're getting the shield which is pretty good and we outpace them to the second crunch so this won't be KOing the Metagross, but the opt to let it go, getting it pretty low as they make a move. So I'm fine with letting this go. And I'm gonna come in and farm down with Swampert here, but not quite KOing. They get a couple bullet punches in, which is not ideal, but we can come in with Swampert and super effective mud shot farm down. So I don't think the opponent is at a move. They probably just went down with it. So we get a Hydro Cannon off as a, another Charmer comes in. Well, I'm totally okay staying here. We still got a healthy Swampert and a Victory Bow with a shield in the back. So not quite getting to the Earthquake there, throwing just in case they had a Psy Shock ready to go. But we get the final shield from the Sylveon and try to snipe and I misclick the Leaf Blade unfortunately. But we still got a shield resisting these charms. They're not quite out of move yet and we're able to make the Leaf Blade and Victory Bell will be closing out the first match for us. So Victory Bell taking the game, taking care of Charmers. So did Magical Leaf make it any better? Well, good enough so that we can use it here. And I'm hearing a lot of positive feedback in the community from the other leagues for Great and Ultra. So I'm saying yes for Master League, but if you have one, the Master Premier Cup is coming up and that's probably where it'll be better. Just because there's less legendaries there, but there's still dragons around. Just the problem with Master League, at least with the legendaries, is that everything has more HP and defense. So Victor Belt only gets to about the 2700s at level 50 and 51, so the fast move pressure really isn't a thing. We need hard hitting charge moves that we can get to. So Magical Leaf helps with that now, right? We have better energy gain. The counts are 4 3 for Leaf Blade and straight 5 for Sludge Bomb. So this also helps with pressuring shields, getting to the moves faster. But Victory Bell isn't the tankiest, so you will have to shield spammy moves in return, like Psy Strikes from you too. But that's normal with a Victory Bell play. Let's say, for example, like Grass Hole, you're usually uh, using two shields on Victory Bell anyways, just to maintain alignment, which kind of makes it an alignment Pokemon or RPS in a way, because it does hard wall water types and it does hard moves to steal. But that's the point of an ABB team, right? Is to bait something out. However, we're here spamming away ourselves with uh, Hydro Cannons up against the Mewtwo here. They've used their final shield, so we build up, build up a little bit of energy, sorry, and throw a Hydro Cannon at the Metagross. So this is getting kind of dicey, but they need two moves to KO, right? Like one Earthquake, one Meteor Mash. Meteor Mash is still resisted, so we're getting the Metagross extremely low, trying to farm it down, because we need to leave with a move here. They're they are not going to make two moves, and I'm scared that the Mewtwo has energy and will win CMP. So we're able to come out with two Hydro Cannons here and make the Hydro Cannon, so we're good to go. The Mewtwo wasn't quite out of move, so Swampert will be cleaning this next game up for us. Getting that win, let's get it. We're getting more technical now. Maybe Victory Bell is better on the safe swap, as you can get ahead on energy when you swap first. And getting to those charge moves quicker means you could also potentially outpace something that normally outpaces you. Because <laughs> trust me, everything outpaces Victory Bell in the Master League. Minus maybe a couple of the water types. But speaking of the water types, we still lose to Palkia. Just because of the Dragon Breaths are too OP, right? And two Leaf Blades is not even close to KOing. So for Palkia leads, I just safe swap Swampert and hopefully realign with Gary. Or we call a double steel line and let Vic go down, saving the waters for the back. So in case of a fairy swap or one in the back, we just realign with Swampert and spam out the Hydro Cannons as much as possible. Then for Dragon Breath, Gary leads, same story, right? So we're really here to give Charmers and Kyogre leads a hard time. Getting that Hydro Cannon off against a Mewtwo, not quite KOing, but I'm okay letting this go. 
really didn't swap out. So we can get ahead with energy, with victory bell on energy and see what's in the back. So you could probably something weak to fighting, but we will have to see. And it's a Rayquaza, so it's not looking too good. Try to get to that Sludge Bomb, but we would have lost CMP. So we're catching the Break and Swipe on Gary. Rayquaza firing it off, not getting the debuff on it, and realizing it's a negative match, retreating into Kyogre. And they've left us with a Crunch too, so we have to double crunch this thing. As long as they don't have Thunder or we get baited. So getting that first Crunch off and the Shield from Kyogre. So if you're the Kyogre in this match, should probably shield the second crunch in case we get the debuff then the second one is going to do more so we get the unnecessary debuff in the second one this time and i'm totally fine letting this go they're going to expend some energy here and full sending the thunder so they're dry and we can leave with one and a half sludge bombs on victory bell here and hopefully it ko's because one sludge bomb is just not going to cut it here so we're going to get to the first one here rayquaza is dry sludge bomb not going to cut it and getting to that second one we could have fired the leaf blade off but we're going to secure the win with sludge bomb number two here victory bell is a rayquaza counter confirmed and that is a good game up into the next match we see an excadrill on the lead not as positive a match as you'd imagine why because we get outpaced surprise surprise so we will have to shield one of these drill runs coming through because victory bell not the tankiest pokemon around on the bright side we can fire off a leaf blade of our own and get a shield in return because extra is just as glassy my plan is to catch a drill run and they're throwing on fives so count to five and we catch on gyarados so hopefully they did blind throw the drill run there not the rock slide will be the drill run reading the opponent like a book as they retreat into their own gyarados so now we're kind of at a health deficiency here but we have an energy advantage so we are able to get to our crunch first and hoping for that debuff no debuff on our end but they will also get to theirs and I'm still gonna tank this we can farm down with victory bell so crunch coming through not getting the debuff on their end hoping to make ours but I threw the aqua tail either way we will be getting a shield from the Gyarados because they want to maintain switch so getting their final shield sounds good to me they still leave with a little bit of energy but we will be able to farm down from this point with victory bell and they threw right away which tells me this is just an aqua tail so calling it correctly still does a lot of damage to victory bell being resisted but on the bright side we're able to farm down and leave with back to back leaf blades for the excadrill coming back in so i know excadrill is pretty glassy but leaf blade not quite KOing the excadrill so we snipe with the swampert and now we have a shield and a leaf blade ready to go for this machamp coming in but swampert looks like it's going to be cleaning up here hydro cannon coming off doing a solid amount of damage to machamp there Unless they have close combat here, which they don't. This is just going to be the cross chop. We're looking pretty good. Yeah, Swampert can take that no problemo and outpace the next Hydro Cannon. So Swampert will be cleaning up for us in this round, taking out the Machamp, and that's a good game. Well, been into the last match here. We've got a Sylveon on the lead. Charm lead again. Love to see it. So they're staying in, so they might be ABA weak. But the Sylveon has access to Psy Shock, so that's something that we have to keep in mind because we don't want to see any kind of psychic moves. So we're going to get that Leaf Blade off and bait, but they no shield it. So we should have actually just gone straight Sludge Bomb in that scenario. This Togekiss is usually shielded, but we're getting the Leaf Blade off, not quite KOing the Sylveon. So we do have to shield up the Psy Shock, so not too bad. We can still win against a Charmer in a one shield scenario. So gonna see what they come in with a Dialga so it's not looking pretty good I'm thinking Charmer maybe double dragon so I'm gonna stay in here and let Victory Bell go down we don't want to give up switch just yet not at the expense of the health that we have now so Victory Bell has done its job the Charmer is out of the way and we come in with Swampert so they threw pretty quickly here making me think it was Iron Head which it was pretty good with these uh, calls today and a Kyogre comes in so we're doing still pretty good here one-to-one -one shields with the Gyarados we just have to fire off these crunches and hope for that debuff. So the first one coming through, smartly no shields, but we get the defense drop. So we can smartly shield up a thunder here, but the opponent actually goes for the origin pulse. So may not have necessarily had to shield that up. It still does a lot of damage. We can actually fully farm this down and leave it a couple crunches for the Algas because we need to do a uh, substantial amount of damage here. At least get a shield from the Dialga first one, not getting the shield. So they're massively over farming and we get to the second one. So this is not going to be KOing the Dialga Origin here, but the opponent does decide to shield it up. Can we reach Earthquake on the Swampert? Yes, we can. 
and Swabert carrying the team will be cleaning up for us this time. Boom! With an earthquake. So Swabert taking the game. Getting a 5-0 in that set, but Victory Bell, not the greatest for Master League, as there are better grass options, especially for Premier Cup. So Open League's just kind of make it difficult uh, because it can be an RPS Pokemon at times, but as for other leagues, did Magical Leaf help? Yes, definitely. It now has a means of getting to its uh, decent charge moves quicker, making it a more technical energy management strategy Pokemon. Doing the same amount of damage as Razor Leaf but gaining more energy in turn is definitely a plus. If you're enjoying the content, leave a comment and tell me what you think. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on. It really helps me out. Keeps me in the algorithm and lets you know when I post, because there will be much more Pokemon Go content to come. But that's all I've got for today, guys. Thank you again, everyone, so much for watching. I've been Arbor Andy. Keep your sticks on the ice, and I'll see you buds in the next one. <laughs>